and we are off to Mexico. It is vlog day one. Tell the people how you're feeling, John. Late. John said he feels late. And then our flight got pushed back to leave 35 minutes later. So now we're no longer late. Thank you, Jonathan. Prayer works, people. Our trip was actually very smooth getting to Los Cabos. No complications other than the flight being pushed back half an hour, which is nothing. John and I both read books on the flight, which was only an hour and 40 minutes. When the flight landed, we were allowed to get off the plane from both the front and the back with the ramps that they pulled up. But of course, we were sitting in the middle, so we were basically the last people to get off. Then it was time to take a bus to get to the airport. We flew into Los Cabos two years ago, and I don't remember having to take a bus, but it's possible that it just depends on the flights and if they have room for the plane to pull up to the actual airport or not. Now the bus ride was super short. I don't even think it was five minutes. Then it was off to go through customs, which is always a fun time. The process was actually relatively quick though, and they do random bag screening. So right before you're about to exit customs, you'll have to press a button, and if it flashes a certain color, they'll make you go through what's basically TSA screening again. After we left the airport, we caught a shuttle to the rent-a-car company where we met up with John's parents who had arrived earlier that day and already had a car and were waiting for us. After saying hello to them and catching up, it was time to head to our resort. But before we get to that, I wanna share my biggest piece of advice. Once you push that button and exit the customs room, do not talk to anyone, nor every single person until you are out of the airport. There are people who will ask where you're going. They'll tell you that you need to check in here to make it to your hotel. It is not true. True. It is just to sell you something. Keep walking. Now back to the hotel. This time we are staying in San Jose del Cabo, which meant the drive is a lot shorter than when you stay in Cabo San Lucas, which is the more well-known and visited area of Los Cabos. Once we got to the resort, the check-in process was not great. They kept trying to get us to upgrade our room, and then they took all our bags and said we had to wait in the room for them to bring them up. That was kind of weird. Normally you just leave and do whatever you want and they'll put the bags in your room, but they made sure to tell us three times that we had to wait. Um, however, they never came and we eventually just left the room and grabbed the bags out of the storage area ourselves. However, the room wasn't bad and the view was beautiful. went to get some food at the sushi bar, which was not good. The fresh toppings were delicious, but I would not eat the rolls again. It is not worth it. Honestly, it kind of tastes like gas station sushi. And after that, I went to explore the resort to see everything that they had. Now this is not an adults only resort, but they do have an adults only pool in the very back behind the bushes with a view of the ocean and it has the only hot tub at the resort. Also fun fact, the resort is further inland because you cannot swim in the ocean here. The waves get very big and apparently have swept people out into the ocean who are just walking beside it. So they recommend that you actually stay pretty far away from it. So if you're coming to San Jose del Cabo, just make sure that you learn where you can safely swim. We did not have this problem in Cabo San Lucas. Our resort was right up against the beach and we were able to go into it. Now I'm not an ocean person, so this doesn't bother me, but if you're somebody who is coming to swim in the ocean, the resort that we're at may not be the best. Anyway, the main pool here is huge. This pool has a swim up bar and a bridge to get over it and it's where they host most all the activities. My favorite part though when I was exploring was this beautiful walkway with all the flowers. There is quite a lot of grass here, but you are not allowed to walk on it and they have quite a few signs to tell you that. It led right up to one of the restaurants here. We didn't eat at the resort for our first night here, but we did see that there was another restaurant very close right down the walkway with outdoor seating. Speaking of dinner, we decided to go out to the square in town. This area is called the Gallery District. We were just walking around exploring and I got to see the iconic flags that everyone posts about from this area, which made me so, so happy. I love all the colors here. It was also Dia de los Niños here, so there was a big show with entertainment for the kids. I mean, look at this giant Woody and we got to see a giant buzz later. Once we were done walking around and got pretty hungry, we started making our way around the area to find somewhere. And originally we wanted to try Jasmine's, which multiple people had recommended, but it was actually rented out for a wedding that was happening right there in the street which was kind of cool so we ended up going to Joriarte instead and I love the decor here and eating outside is always a bonus then it was back to the resort for a beautiful sunset 
Hey guys, so yesterday was our first day in Mexico and overall it went really well. We didn't record at the end of the night because things kind of took a downturn. We went to the gallery district and then a bird pooped on me. That was unfortunate, but we were able to get it cleaned up. First time that's ever happened to me, but then John got super sick. Um, we don't know what it was. It could have been anything from the time that we got to the resort to going out in the gallery district and eating there. So we don't want to say it was anything in particular, but he was not feeling well at all at the end of the night. So we called it pretty early. We'll share more tomorrow in our vlog about the resort.